Welcome! Today we are going to be building the ultimate gaming PC of 2022. We have some incredible equipment here. We're going to be building the PC step by step. It's going to be incredible. So yeah, we have a magical build today with all this beautiful components. So let's get into what we're using. MSI Pro Z690A Wi-Fi motherboard, 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM, MSI's Ventus 3080 Ti graphics card, Samsung 980 Pro M2 SSD, Corsair's RM850 watt PSU, Intel's i9-12900K processor, Lian Lai's O11 Dynamic case, six RGB SP120 Elite Corsair fans, Corsair's new LCD all-in-one CPU cooler, the H150i. Step one, we're opening the case. And what would an opening be without a CSGO knife, am I right? I've been dying to open this and get building. Don't forget to take a snapshot, blah, 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 blah. thank you for your purchase. Okay, maybe it will. This case is stunning. Look how nice this case is. It's the double-sided glass. Put these over here. Easy tray removal. Nice. Look at that, the convenience. We won't need this for a while, so I'm definitely gonna put this out the way and say front panel, we can take this off. Look how easy that is to take off. We love that. Take off the side panel. Yeah, this is actually amazing how convenient this is. So the first thing we'll be doing is we're gonna be opening the power supply unit. I hope so at least. Bada bing, bada boom. Of course, we have our plug socket and it is the UK adapter. We have a lot of cabling right here. Some zip ties for that cable management. And we have Power supply unit. Oh. We have a lot of adapting space. So much to do. This case actually makes the PSU vertical, which is an interesting design. I'm down for it. Now the best advice I can give you guys is magnetic screwdriver. I'm gonna screw this in here. That is tightly secured. This is very airy. If you notice the width of it, it's a bit wider than your, your usual setup. This actually allows us to do all the cables later. For the motherboard, we have the Intel Motherboard Pro Z690A Wi-Fi. Gonna open this up. The motherboard in its casing. So we will be gently removing the motherboard. CD! You see these nuts? We have antennas for the Wi-Fi. We have some cabling right here. We've got the case. We've got some screws, more screws. We've got some more screws. Quick installation guide. You can't really build on your motherboard with the casing on. So we're gonna remove that packaging. And we're gonna gently place this right here. The first thing we're actually going to be installing on the motherboard is the CPU. And we have the Intel Core i9 12th gen. So there's a slit here. We're just gonna go through, open this from the back here. to reveal our large golden chocolate coin. You can see right here, there's two little marks. When they meet, it opens up. First things first, let's open this right here. And we're gonna unveil on the actual motherboard because we're using Intel. With AMD, you usually find the pins on the back of the CPU itself. So we're going to get our golden coin right here. Open from the slit open the packaging without the CPU go flying, and you're going to want to hold it on the front, not on the sides or underneath. Very gently open this right here. Just kind of drop it into place. Put this down, apply some pressure right here. 
Now that is usually the scariest part because you have to apply pressure when pressing down. And that's a very scary thing to achieve. Okay, we've got the case stuck, epic. <laughs> Just what you want on the most delicate part. Now that the CPU is installed, the next part we're going to be doing is the RAM. Right here we have two, uh, 32 gigabytes in total of DDR5, 5600 megahertz speed. And that is two sticks of 16. Oh yeah, open this up. Slide the RAM out. Very nice RAM sticks right here. Before we install the RAM right here, it says dimmer A1, dimmer A2, dim B1 and dim B2. It says right there, these ones are where you have to insert them first. We're going to be using this and this. Open these latches right here. And I'm pretty sure we can just pop them out like so using our first RAM stick. One side's bigger than the other, but with DDR5, not that big of a difference. So make sure you've got it the right way around before you try and press it in place. Push it down and it will click on both sides most of the time. Both sides click. Our RAM is installed. Moving on to the next section, M2 SSD, which is going directly onto the motherboard. Now this is the Samsung 980 Pro. It has insane read and write speeds at 7,000 to 5,000, I believe. Now this is a one terabyte version. Now we're actually gonna be putting it here, but there's actually a heat sink over it. The magnetic screwdriver, so much easier. Gonna lift this up here. So we have our little heat sink, which has this like thermal pad on it. We're going to open this up to pull this out. Look at it, little tiny boy. So right here, we're going to be taking the plastic off like so. And yeah, there we have him, let's install it. So put that in right there. So it's in, it's got a bit of a uh, bounce to it. Gonna push this down and this little clip just goes right over it. Installed. Now we're gonna put the heat sink back on. We have got to remove this first and it's a very sticky into place. Now I've only gone for one and maybe in the future we'll add some more, but the next part for us is putting the motherboard inside of the case. Upside down. This, we're putting this in. Hooray, you can see the slot for it right there. We are doing this correctly. That's where the motherboard is going to be sitting. Now in the Lee and Lee set of screws, we have the screws for the motherboard. There's a lot of screws, so we have to make sure we get the right thing in. No problem. Okay, our motherboard is now in place. We have done eight screws instead of nine. It seems like this one right here, somebody's already tried to screw something in and the head snapped off. Um, so I can use eight instead of nine. The next thing we're doing is the fans. We're gonna be unboxing these. Let's start with triple fan box. Opening this right here. These are the SP120. So I've got a free pack and free solos had to buy another free pack because it comes with this, which is where we're gonna connect all of our fans. But well, this is just one, I have another six one and we'll be using that. Got a bunch of screws here, we got the manual. It's just solo fans. So we're actually gonna install our bottom fans first, but I forgot that they have these SATA SSD slots pre-built into the floor for some reasons. Now we have all of our bottom fans installed. It's time to do the side ones. Now we have all of the fans in, very nicely done. We now have to do the top radiator and the CPU cooler, AIO, and we have the H1501 Elite LCD. So it's got the screen on it. It's by Corsair. I'm looking forward to using this. I've never actually seen one in person, so. So we're gonna open this up right here. Safety and warranty information. Sorry if my arm gets in the way for a sec. Pump and the radiator, the most important parts. The main reason you get this 
We have three of our fans. So we have three fans here, which we're gonna to attach to the radiator. We have screws and brackets for days. We've got attachments for the new Intel slot, which we're gonna need. In the box, we also have the two-in-one for the USB. And this is what we were talking about earlier. This is the Corsair Commander Pro. It has six slots in it, so we're going to do the side fans and top fans together on this. And then we're going to do the smaller fans on the bottom with this. We have to attach this and we've got the Intel 1700s brackets that we need. But me being an idiot, forgot to take out this. Yeah, so I'm going to take this out really quick. There we have it. The brackets removed. How about that? We just need to put this thing into those four holes right there. So we're gonna take off the pill, put it through, and then we can put the brackets in. And there we have it. All of the brackets are in each corner, ready to be mounted. We now have the pump in. We have the radiator and the fans all on the top. The cables are right here. And I believe it's time to start plugging stuff in. So this is the bit I've been dreading. Wish me luck. Okay, now that the cables are plugged in, we're not gonna manage them just yet. The front's managed, but the back's not. We just have to install the graphics card now. Should just slide right out. The most expensive part of the whole machine. We have a vertical standing bracket. Now this might be interesting for a future video, but... Here we have it, the MSI 3080 Ti, the beast. I'm gonna take off all three brackets just to be safe. A little bit messy here right now. This will be the first test to see if it works. Let's hit the power button. Oh, we got working fans. We have working fans. There is a red triangle there on the CPU though, so we have to figure that out. The top fans aren't spinning though. That's our only issue right now. Just gonna give it a second. There's a white light on the BIOS Easy Debug. White light. Oh, it's gone green and then red, it shut off. Okay. Even though it rebooted, the fans are spinning okay. How about the top ones? The top ones aren't actually spinning right now, so I'm gonna have to work that out. It's giving a nice air call to the whole system. Yeah, we've also got BIOS settings right here. GPU frequency set 3.2. Uh, DDR4's uh, by default set 4,800. Does my mouse work? Yes, it does, okay. Are those top fans coming on? Oh, they are on. They're, they're exhorting the heat upwards. They just don't look like they're spinning. But yeah, everything's working. Okay, just a little update. So this was actually unplugged from the commander core, which is coming from the main pump. So I assume that's a bit of a problem. I'm pretty sure I plugged it in, but apparently not. Let's hope that's the reason we were getting the red triangle and the CPU temperature was rising because the pump wasn't plugged in properly. That would make a lot of sense. Fingers crossed. by the switch, eh? Okay, attempt number three. Let's go. Wait for the RGB to come on. There we go. Oh, there's a white light. We didn't have that before. The RGB is not coming on on here though. The, neither are the top ones, but I assume that's because they're in the commander core. That's new. We haven't got that. Definitely big oof. That's probably why that was doing that. All the fans are on which is great. The BIOS is on. CPU temperature is at 21. It's at 21. It seems to be remaining. I mean, that's better than the 40 it was at. So that proves some inks were right. Big mess on the cables, but we're just testing. Yeah, look, it's even gone down in temperature. Okay, that was the issue. <laughs> Wicked. Well, we know everything works. We know this is working okay. Do a bit of cable management, like these bits are just hanging out. Close up the case and get back to the BIOS. But yeah, still on 21 degrees. So that was definitely the problem. It's all working now. One of the most important parts of the build, removing this plastic pill. Everyone who I've seen remove the Lian Lai hasn't done it in one take. 
So guess what we did, baby? Tension, peel off the protective film on both sides. Glasses on, I've done all the cable management. The only thing annoying me is the cable out of the graphics card. I'm gonna change that soon, but for now, it's all I got. So let's boot this thing up and see if it'll, everything's working. Anything fall out from cable management? RGBs are on. Oh, look at that screen. And then from the front, all the fans are spinning. Everything seems pretty good. 19 degrees, 20 degrees, 19 degrees. Okay, we've got it. It's a keeper. Cool. Let's close the case. enjoyed that video. I know it was a little bit different to my usual stuff. We've gone from phase recruitment to meeting the Cybermen to building a new PC. That's the fun of the channel. You never know what you're gonna get next. I'll be responding to all of your comments so make sure to drop me any questions or anything you want me to see. And if you want to see more videos like this then please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe it helped someone, maybe it didn't, but I enjoyed making the video and this whole video has been edited on the new PC. Two hours of footage into 16 minutes and the light died. But thank you, I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to see game benchmarks, let me know. I appreciate you guys, hope you have a fantastic rest of your days and peace.